Gunfire shatters glass and the feeling of security in West Omaha. Workers hid in a nearby business. Schools and a daycare went on lockdown. Police poured into the area, tracking down the suspected gunman at a nearby apartment complex. Tonight, the 63-year-old man is in custody. He surrendered after holding police at bay for about a half hour. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. We caught up with those who witnessed the shooting and the standoff. Reporter Kelly Bartnick spent the day at the scene. He joins us live with the latest. Kelly? Jenny, Dwight Rogers is in jail tonight, and here at Parliament uh, in Legacy, the cleanup has continued. The door glass is replaced. You can you can maybe see on the other side, the windows are still boarded up tonight. Now, this happened in an otherwise quiet business district in broad daylight. It created quite a spectacle. When you come here, you feel safe. Wednesday was not a safe day. Crews picked up shattered glass from a shotgun that put craters through Parliament Pub's entry. He stared at me. I just had this look, just the stare, and then when that's why I kind of glanced back. Scott Price was delivering packages around two Thursday afternoon next door, right before he went inside. I see him walk in with a shotgun. It had engraving along the side of it, and I told them that somebody just walked into Parliament Pub with a shotgun and right after I said that you could hear the shots being fired. Dana Bean's employees heard three shots. Price was locked in her store too. So was another woman who had been inside the pub when the bullet started flying. I feel so bad for her because she was in the shock and to think that her boyfriend was in there and that he could be dead because she thought everybody was dead. But no one was. Police say this is the man, 63-year-old Dwight Rogers. He retreated to a nearby apartment after the parliament rampage. Then he barricaded himself inside. Yes, very fortunate. And officers were fired upon and, and they were by the vehicle that was struck. So we're very fortunate that there was no loss of life. That's what people in both locations have said all day. Pretty scary, especially in this part of town. It's not a situation you forget. I spoke briefly with people inside Parliament tonight. They're not saying much, citing the police investigation, but are saying that everyone is okay. They want to reiterate that this evening. And they're also not commenting on any possible motive that would have led to this shooting this afternoon. Reporting live at Legacy, Kelly Bartnick, KMTV Action 3 News.